So let us have some examples. So we're given that A equals 3, B equals negative 4, and the following matrices, including a zero matrix. So we are asked to perform the indicated operations. Pause the video and try to see if we'll be able to get the required matrix. All right, so let us start with the first one. We have here in 1A, in 1 rather, scalar A times matrix A plus scalar B times matrix B. So if we're going to write that using these values, we're going to have 3 multiplied to the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 plus negative 4 multiplied to the matrix 0, 1, negative 1, 2 which would be pretty simple for us to do. By scalar multiplication, this matrix would be 3, 6, 9, 12, plus the matrix 0, negative 4, 4, negative 8. Adding the two matrices here, we're going to get the resulting matrix of 3, 2, 13, 4. So therefore, AA plus BB, if we're going to read it, plus here would be 3, 2, 13, and 4. Let's now go to number 2. There you go, here. So for number 2, we were told to solve this one. Now, some of you who might be familiar with mathematics might try to distribute this one first or do some algebraic operations. But remember, these are scalars and matrices. So, let's just place that one here. If we're going to literally write it as is, this is actually 3 minus negative 4 minus, ah, multiplied rather, to A minus B which is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 0, 1, negative 1, 2. So if we are performing an operation like this, we cannot just do our usual algebra of distributing. Remember, we have to follow it as we have to follow the properties of matrix operations. So I can combine this one. So I'm going to have 3, minus negative 4 would be 7. And then, now I have a new scalar, which is 7, that I, I can actually perform scalar multiplication with this. So, I may distribute the scalar here, or I may perform the matrix subtraction first. And that's what I will do. So, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is the same as... This is matrix subtraction. This can be seen as plus negative 1 of 0, 1, negative 1, 2. So therefore, I'm going to have the scalar 7 outside multiplied to the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 0, negative 1, 1, negative 2. Therefore, let's bring that down. There you go. We're now going to have 7 multiplied to the matrix 1, 1, 4, 2, which gives us the final matrix of 7, 7, 28, 14. So therefore, this matrix is equal to the matrix 7, 7, 28, 14. So, for number 3, we are asked to find the matrix AB times matrix O. Remember that matrix O is actually a zero matrix. And any scalar that we multiply to the zero matrix will just result to the zero matrix. So, therefore, it is safe to say that even without a straightforward, even without showing a calculation, this is just equal to the zero matrix. And those are some examples of 
performing matrix operations being mindful of their properties.